Yeah, now I, uh, I've left that to the, to the younger lads. I didn't want to come in as well and, and just dictate what we listen to anyway. So obviously I missed the start of the season for injury. So it was, uh, I think the, um, the music was already set up then. But we tend to listen to similar stuff. I think there's not too many variations before the game. I think obviously in cars and at homes, people might listen to different music. But I think uh, in the dressing room, you tend to have a set of music or a playlist that caters for everyone that you can't just be, be selfish and, and inspire yourself. You kind of have to create something that everyone in the team and the squad can, can relate to. Personally, I, I tend to use it every game. Um, I think it's it's got bigger as I've got older. I remember going back a few years now, The uh, I first got the iPad, iPod, sorry, um, the first one, and it was like, it was a big thing to to listen to music in the dressing room with the headphones in and stuff like that. But now I just think it's it's a standard thing. I think you go to any any team before the game you, and stand outside, you'd, you'd hear music. So I think it is is a must now. I, I remember um, when Fabio Capello first came to, to England and he kind of said, no, there was no music allowed in the dressing room. It was it was more living an individual thing. So you kind of had all the lads in there with headphones on, as I say, getting themselves geared up to uh, to go out to battle. But as I say, it, every individual's every person is an individual, should I say? So it kind of uh, it kind of works, and, and sometimes it, it doesn't. But on a whole, most um, teams will have speakers in the dressing room.